What's good with it, y'all? My, my apologies for the winningness y'all here in the background, man. Getting the cool down and walk in. But welcome back to A1 Hoops Zone. Back at y'all. Another one. Hey, man, I just wanted to do an NBA tap in, man. Just covering a few topics, a few things that was on my mind. And uh, I, shit, I, I, I can't call it a rant because I ain't ranting about nothing. But definitely just wanted to tap in and chop it up with y'all, man. A few things. Uh, first one to come right off the top of my head, though, is a uh, quick question. We'll. Uh, who will be held accountable for the Bucks if they get bounced in the first round? Will it be Giannis? Will it be Dame? Or will it be Doc Rivers? Or will it be all three? Well, we, I, I guess we can all definitely kind of say we know for, for a fact that uh, it's, it's going to be a finger being pointed somewhere if they come up short. I highly doubt it's going to be pointed at Giannis just because Giannis has held it down on his own with the Milwaukee Bucks over, over many of years, and we've seen his body of work we seen it in the in the biggest and clutch moments. We seen him definitely uh, rise to the occasion and answer the bell. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, so I, I think we can eliminate Giannis from from that rhetorical question. Next one after that, we've seen Dame come up big, and, and we've we've seen also him have you know so his you know less than successful moments as well in pivotal situations or when it comes to whether it be pushing to make a deep playoff run or something along those lines. We've seen that as well. You know what I mean? So they, what are they going to say? You know, him being traded there needed time to, uh, to gel and mesh with, with, with Giannis and for them to figure it out. You know, you can't just go in there and plug and match and play strictly off of athleticism. You know what I'm saying? You got you to be able to play together and make it work. So he, I, I think he'll probably shoulder a little bit of the blame, but I think it's going to rest, uh, for, and this is just my perspective on it, answering my own rhetorical question. I think a lot of it is going gonna, is gonna to weigh on the shoulders of Doc Rivers. Who we've seen, uh, I mean, for lack of better words, he he literally got one one chip with a with a Hall of Fame team with KG Ray Ray Allen Rondo and Paul Pierce, and then after that, man, it's just been uh yeah um, a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, <laughs> and what do I mean by that is he's had winning seasons, but when push came to shove and, and they come to the playoffs, you know, what I'm saying that record is definitely not looking like a Cinderella story. You know what I mean? Uh, that that record, you know what I'm saying, having the most 3-1 blown leads and stuff like that, like, hey, I think he's going to shoulder a lot of that blame. I think that's going to it's going gonna, it's gonna to wane heavy on him of them saying the system of you not being able to figure it out as a coach and put something together that, that was able to have, help your team put them in the best position to be successful, that's going to fall on his shoulders. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we see time and time and again, whether it be play calling, whether it be rostered, uh, lineups he's putting out there and things of that nature, man. We've just seen them come up short time and time and again. And it's just weird to me that that's what we continue to see coming from them. You know what I mean? And, and again, I was one of the people when I dropped the video earlier this year when I first heard about it, I said it's going to take some time. You know what I'm saying? For Bucks fans, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't be too too high on the team as of right now. I, I gave them until next year is when they'll get it right. So my expectation for them this year is just, See what happens. You know, so I would say maybe second round, just based off based off of their their athleticism and how you know, saying having two of the top uh, best players in the league on the same team, they should be able to squeak by and things of that nature. But as far as being like a true championship type uh, team or threat, I give them until next year. Uh, I feel like they need more time to gel and mesh, uh, whether that be the coach, Giannis and Dane playing together, and then again just figuring out you know, saying your lineups and your rosters, your schemes and things like that. I think it'll be next year's when we'll see it come together. But this year, yeah, I, I think I think maybe second round second round uh, exit might be the ceiling right now for this team. That's no hate of slight. That's just a realistic perspective of where I see where I kind of see them at right now. Uh, I'd be again heavily surprised if they if they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals or or made it to the NBA championship. I'd be very surprised at, uh, again, and that'll be you know a testament to them. But as far as that, man, for the blame portion of it, I think Doc Rivers is going to shoulder all, damn near all the blame for it. I think it's going to be like 95% uh, Doc, 5% Dane, 5%, well, 7% Dane, maybe 3% Giannis. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, they, you can't really blame Giannis with the fact of the effort he puts out there each and every night for your team. You know what I mean? So that, that's just my take on that one, man. And then just looking at everything else, you know, people, people, you know, getting on Bronny James about him entering the enter the NBA draft and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people shitting on him. A lot of people saying, you know, like he shouldn't have did it. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Uh, he shouldn't have did it and stuff like that. But my, at the end of the day, how I look at it is that 
you know what I'm saying? If he want to enter the draft, let him enter the draft. You know what I mean? That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to get drafted. That doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, um, you know, for that a team is going to – he may end up having to take a harder road than what people think. You know what I mean? There's two sides to it. He may take a higher a higher road, not get drafted, or, or you know what I'm saying, he make a G League or D League team and, and work his way through, you know, through the grind that way and, and find himself in a league a different kind of way. Or it could be a situation where a team is looking at it like – you know what I'm saying? Taking it to what uh, LeBron said, he want to play a year or, or or play a season with his son. Shit, there might be a team that might be willing to draft him just for the perspective of hoping to lure LeBron away from the Lakers for a year or two. That's definitely a possibility that teams are looking at. Marketability of, of utilizing LeBron to get LeBron, you know what I mean? And at the, obviously, we know this is a latter stage of LeBron's career. So what will we be seeing? More so than anything, probably just looking to, you know what I'm saying, get butts in the seats. Wherever LeBron go, he, he, you know, tickets be selling. Whether it be him, him by himself. Well, shit, we haven't necessarily seen him by himself, so it'd probably be a perspective of you seeing LeBron go somewhere if he was to go somewhere, and he's gonna be bringing players, you know, saying players there with him to give him an opportunity to compete for a championship. You know, what I mean, he's not just gonna go there and and play, you know, saying play to lose, play losing basketball. You know what I mean? We saw that with the Lakers, and they had an extremely young team. You know what I'm saying? He made some hey, he he wanted he wanted A D, he wanted this player and that player, and they shook up the shook up the roster, you know what I'm saying, to get it to his liking and, and for him to get a team that he wanted. I would say the same can be said about if whoever drafts uh Bronny, the same concept might apply. You know what I mean? They might be looking at it as saying, like, we're gonna draft him and host the lure and his daddy over here to play with us. You know what I mean? So we'll have to wait and see. But for me, you know, I don't, I don't have, I don't have a beef with it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's his decision. My bad, y'all. I'm getting, I think I'm getting a cold or something. But it's his decision on what he want to pursue. He want to enter the draft. Now he's just gonna have to work hard and grind. You know what I mean? He didn't do anything as far as in, at the collegiate level that really separated him or show like jumping off the charts type of, of any metrics. You know what I mean? So that's something that again you keep an eye on. These and I'm sure that these, uh, these scouts are looking at the same thing. You know what I mean? They didn't look at it, watch his games or go to his games and look at it from perspective of just saying, oh, you know, like it, it, that's his, that's LeBron James. son. we're going to draft him just because of that. Nah, you know what I mean? They, they looked at it as like, hey, what type what what type of skill set does he have? Where, where would he where would he best fit? Is he a guard? How's his handle? You know what I'm saying? How's his defense? Slide his feet. Can he jump? Can he shoot the ball? Can he does he have a high basketball IQ? You know what I'm saying? Is he a good passer? There's a lot that goes into it that these scouts are checking out these boxes looking at, man. And if you don't fit the, you know, the majority, if not all them boxes, man, they they not they gonna go ahead and pass it. You know what I mean? And that's gonna no, no slight of disrespect or anything like that. It's just it's just the reality of things, man. These these players are getting better and they're younger. You know, the younger they are, the better they are, which is which is wild. Back in the day, you would think, you know, say you need a little be a little bit older in order to be this good or that good. But nowadays, man, it's like you got these high school players doing shit. NBA dunk contest level type of dunks in game, and these are high schools. You know what I mean? Like shit, that shit is wild. You know what I'm saying? So uh, <clears throat> it's on. It's competition is only going to get better. That's that's pretty much the main thing. What's being said. But another thing, man, is like so for him. You know, hats off to him. I hope I hope he has success wherever, whatever happens, and things of that nature. I wish nothing but the best for him, man. I'm not going to be one of the people that's going to shit on him and, and say these things and say he shouldn't have did it, he trashed and all that. I'm not going to do any of that. I, I hope the best for him. I hope everything work out. I hope that decision come come to fruition of him playing in the NBA, which is what he said he dreamed about, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. That, that's my hope. And, then, again, man, so we're we, we appro- vastly approaching the playoffs, man. It's coming hot, ready, quick. You know what I mean? So I can't wait. Uh, like I said, y'all keep an eye out for our daily prediction videos that's going to be dropping for me, whether it be individual ones, depending on how many games it is, or I actually goes, we'll go ahead and do keep my uh, NBA prediction quick hits volume series uh, going as well. But either way, you know what I'm saying, the daily content will be coming. Uh, when it hits the conference finals, I'll, I'll probably be doing a live uh, for the conference finals uh, every game, uh, you know what I mean, or, or a marathon. I can't do for a daily thing for the NBA uh, first round playoffs just because it's too many games, man. <laughs> like that's way too many games to try and cover in one day. So uh, conference final hit, I definitely probably be doing it that way. So y'all keep an eye out for that. But yeah, man, like I said, just wanted to tap in with y'all real quick. Uh, talk about a couple of things that, that was on my mind. I was thinking about a little bit of the stuff I had seen. Uh, I know, I know, I saw Maxi drop a 52 point game. Uh, you know, what I'm saying keeping the Sixers afloat 
while Joel, uh, you know what I'm saying, getting his NBA legs back under him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's a lot that's going on. So I'm just locking up the, the one number one seed and things of that nature. My, my Lakers moving from what was the ninth to tenth seed up to eight seed now. Uh, you know, they just got to win out and see if they can they can track down that sixth or fifth seed and get themselves out of the play-in. You know what I mean? That would be the best case scenario is getting out of that play-in situation. But we'll have to wait and see. But everything coming quick, man. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. Again, just wanted to tap in super quick, talk about a couple of things, man, and, and keep y'all in the loop of what's going on. And y'all keep an eye out for that prediction video. It's going to be dropping uh, early tomorrow morning. Um, and we're going to keep rocking out, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And as always, man, it's always love, and I appreciate y'all.